Wonderful People and Incredible Students. Deixa eu explicar um pouquinho mais sobre o nosso mês do inglês na indústria. Isto quer dizer que, ao longo deste mês, nós vamos ter uma série de aulas 100% gratuitas para vocês. E que tipo de aulas é que nós vamos ter? Nós vamos ter aulas dentro de indústrias. Para quê? Para poder mostrar a vocês que o inglês que nós temos aqui na United não é inglês só de sala de aula. É aquele inglês de verdade, é aquele que você usa na vida real. Principalmente no vosso trabalho. Hey, beautiful people and incredible students! Estamos cá hoje para mais uma aula de inglês técnico. E hoje temos a grande honra do apoio do Senai aqui de Caçadora. Então, muito obrigado a todos, ao professor Everton, que conseguiu nos ajudar bastante para ter a possibilidade de fazer uma aula dentro deste lugar, tá? Uh, hoje vamos continuar essa nossa série de inglês técnico para a indústria. Nós, em outras aulas, já abordámos muita coisa. Terminámos ontem o ciclo da energia industrial, que tiver, tivemos inclusive a automação. Foi muito bom. Hoje nós vamos agora para um tema muito, muito, muito perto das necessidades aqui de caçador e região. Hoje nós vamos falar sobre CNC e torno. Tá? Tivemos um pequeno problema técnico com o nosso aluno. O nosso aluno super craque neste ramo, também fala inglês. Infelizmente está com uma conexão que não teve como entrar. Então hoje você só tem a mim, tá? Boa notícia é que vai ser uma aula um pouquinho mais curta do que era com o aluno, tá? Porque não vou ter ninguém para interagir. Mas como sempre eu vou mostrar para vocês como vocês conseguem usar o inglês dentro do vosso lugar de trabalho desde o Google da Opa! Desliga o teu microfone, Gabriel. Oh, gente, voltamos. Peço muitas desculpas, mas sabem como é que é? Quando é ao vivo acontece esse tipo de coisas, tá? Então, <risos> até hoje, em todas as lives que nós tínhamos feito, não tinha acontecido ainda, aconteceu desta vez, tá? Mas agradeço imenso pela vossa paciência e vamos lá continuar muito rapidamente. Uh, nós vamos ter aqui muita coisa para conversar, tá? Uh, eu vou ser possivelmente um bocadinho mais rápido do que como é com o aluno, que obviamente nós conseguimos nos divertir muito mais, tá? Mas depois vocês podem pedir de novo esta aula que nós vos ajudamos. No meio desta aula vai ter um momento de magia, tá? Nós vamos usar aqui a tecnologia para nos dar uma ajuda e nós vamos passar do CNC para o torno, tá? Show de bola? Então, let's start, people! Let's go! The class with no student. Ok, so, we are at the moment in a place and the name is a workshop huh? we have shops on the street but here it's a workshop and what do you have in a workshop usually usually you have machines like a cnc or a layen mm, a layen i'll show you the layen in a minute okay but before that let's talk a bit about the tools that you use when you have a cnc or when you have a lay-in, okay? First one, we have here this kind of example, see? This is really simple, they're drills. Similar to the machine that you use, which is a driller, these are drills, okay? So, very simple. Now, you connect the drill, okay, to a head gasket, okay? So, or the head shift, possibly two names, okay? And this you open with a regular mandrill. Aha, uh -huh, surprise, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> mandrill, that's it, okay? Now, it is also very common to use males. See here? You use males when you use a lay-in or even a CNC. See, this is it, very, very similar, okay? Now, here we have two cutting ends. They are called cutting ends. And we have a two-tip or a four-tip cutting head. Ah, it's really simple. 
let me put back in the right place because in Senai they are organized, okay? It's a very, very organized place. And then we have also, and this is really important for everyone that works down to the millimeter, we have a pachymeter. Huh? Pachymeter. Very simple. And everyone knows what the pachymeter is for. Now, uh, to fit, we have a star tool, okay? For the obvious name, star tool. And, and, and this is the good part. We have here an angle measurement. So we have a magnet that holds, see, oh, it doesn't hold, and it releases. So you have the magnet, you have the, the, um, the mag, yes, magnet. Then we have the gauge, and this regulates the angle that you want to work with the part, with the, with the piece that you, you're working in, okay? Until here, no problems? I miss the student, I should have a student now, but okay. Let's now talk about the initial work of a CNC, okay? So, very simple. Let me show you. We can do this type of work in a CNC, okay? Or we can do this type of work in a CNC. And what is the big interesting part of a CNC? Is that the CNC works in the three dimensions. Ah, you guys know this. You guys have studied this kind of material, so you know. So, besides cutting this way and this way, it also works in the third dimension. So it doesn't go all the way down, it works the parts, okay? And what is really, really innovating about the CNC, it is is all based in programming. So mathematics is really important because you work with basically two mathematical principles, okay? The first principle is the three axle graphic. So you guys remember mathematics? One axle, two axles, and the third axle down here. That's it. So you have a three axle coordination system, okay? We also have, because this is the movement, isn't it? So you, you, you kind of solve the problem of the, the dimensions that you work. But then you have a problem. You want to do this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, automatically. So how do you talk to the CNC? What is really, really important is also for you to study the part of mathematics which is called vectors. So it's really important. So if you study English, uh, mathematics in English, remember, two very, topic, two very important topics. First one, three axle dimension, okay? And the vector system, because when you have here the dashboard, huh? more vocabulary, the dashboard, what you put in is the coordinates in vectors. So you say the machine to go from this point to this point, and after here, you give them another vector. So you say that it goes from point B to point C. So the first vector is from A to B, vector number two from B to C. But for example, because of your possibly project, uh, another vocabulary, you might say that the, the, um, the drill, for example, or the cutting end, the cutting end in this case, needs to go from point A to point B, point B to point C, and point D, without any connection with C, D to E. Because this is all about vectors, okay? And this is not just present here. It's also present in uh, ship direction system, GPSs. It's all about the same type of mathematics, okay? Now, let's go a bit to the CNC, okay? And just hold this so it doesn't. Also, we got 
imagine the name, it's just a door, a door, door. The regular door that you have at home, it's also here. But it's not an opening door, it's a sliding door, okay? Perfect. In the sliding door, we have the panel, okay? Then we have the control, which is different. The panel gives the coordinates and the control has a few kind of actions that you can do, okay? And obviously you have one here, you might have another one there. We have the emergency brake. Remember yesterday when we were talking about um, fuse breakers? So remember, in, in English, when you talk about electricity and current, it's really important to use the word brake when you stop something. You break the current, okay? You put the programming, remember, three axle dimension and uh, the, the vectors to give co the coordinates. You put your things, you, you put your piece here and then you have the cutting ends or the drills depending on what you want to do. But it's all based on the program that you just did, okay? Um, we have here the power system, okay? So this is basically, that's why you have all the, the red um, danger images, okay? And this is basically the CNC. Now let me take you to the LAN. I, I have to say it very slowly, the LAN, so I don't make a mistake, okay? That's it. So let's use the, um, uh, the power of the technology magic to go to the LAN now, okay? Let's go! cha -da! Here we are now, okay? And we still have about five more minutes of class. Okay, in the lay-in again, okay, we have a few things that are similar to the CNC, which is the control panel, okay? Obviously, in a, a lay-in, it's a bit different because you don't have the need for the three dimensions, okay? And obviously, this one here is not also as programmable, mm -hmm, programmable as a CNC. You also work differently. So for example, the big difference between a CNC and a LAN is that in a CNC, the part is stopped and what works is the cutting tip. And here it's the opposite. The cutting tip is usually fixed and the part is the one that turns. Huh? Very good, that's it. So, independent with the type of material that you work, I showed you a wood part that was made in a CNC. Uh, here, it's a bit different, okay? Here, you, people use for wood, but it's also used very commonly for metal. For example, when you have a problem with your car and the engine, uh, engine uh, shaft uh, goes and, and 